Hey, Craig, check this out. They got a 1970 Super Sport Chevelle, cherry red, 14 grand. What? Chad Bennett here with Sticks Outfitters. I'm going to teach you guys how to make one of these antler lamps so you can do a little nighttime reading and, uh, you know, do some arts and craft stuff in it if you want. Whatever you feel like. Let's go check it out. So we're going to need an electric drill, drill bits, two to three antler sheds, a lamp kit, super glue or hot glue, any kind of glue that'll hold these antlers together. We prefer hot glue, but had to settle for super glue this time. And tape, nails, a pencil, and a level. And we're also gonna need a hammer, obviously. So we're gonna set up and arrange our antlers the way that we'd like. And this will take a little bit of time. It's kind of a struggle, but definitely worth the effort to get exactly what you want. We're gonna start off by clamping our antler in there. The main goal is to enter through the top there and you see we're gonna have the exit somewhere in the middle of the antler. But before we start drilling, we wanna make sure our drill bit is gonna be straight up and down. That's where we're gonna use that level. We're gonna start off with a 3 8 inch drill bit to get the first piece of the lamp kit in there. And then we'll go to the quarter inch to go all the way through You can see right there, it's exiting through the antler right there. Just take it nice and slow. Now we can put our wire in, make sure it all fits. Now that we got that all done, we're gonna line up our base with the antlers. And we're gonna glue that bottom part down in the middle. And we're gonna put them together and hold them for a bit until that glue settles and dries up. And then we're gonna tape it down and let it dry like that. Then we're gonna do a little small drill so we can nail it in there and make sure they really hold together with the glue and the nail. We're actually gonna fill that hole up with the glue and then nail it in. Be sure to lightly tap when you use that hammer. And then we're gonna repeat that process for every point in which the antlers are connecting. Be sure to tape down every point that we glued or nailed so it can give some time for the glue to settle and dry. So give it a few minutes and get back to the project when, when it's all set. The last part of putting all your antlers together is obviously gluing that last piece in and then we're going to drill and nail that part in as well. Now that the glue's all dry, we're going to take off the tape and move forward with installing the lamp kit. Once you have the wires in place, we're gonna put in this little piece here that we fit for earlier in the video and push the wire through. Then we're gonna install this oddly shaped piece. Forgive me, I'm not very in tune with my lamp kit terminology quite yet. Now we'll be installing the placeholder that looks like a golden dome upside down. And find the screw so you can tighten it up to where you want it to be. So now we're going to make this weird knot in the wires to make everything kind of neat and tidy. So start tying the end of the wire on this big screw here. There's one on this side and another on the other side that we'll be tying the end of the other wire to. Tighten up both those screws so the wires will stay put there. And look at that, doesn't it look great? As we're finishing up, put that cap on there. Pretty simple. And you'll see as you install this part of the lamp kit, it might not be as secure as you want it to be, so you're gonna have to tighten it up down there at the base so it'll stay put. Put your lampshade on there and you'll be reading in the dark, in fashion, in no time.
Thanks for watching another edition of Redneck Arts and Crafts with the Sticks Outfitter. I think this one turned out pretty good, Shad. Uh, well, it took two rednecks to screw in this light bulb. That's right, it sure did. So be sure to subscribe to our channel, check out the videos that are also listed here, and check out our social media links listed in the description below. We'll see you next time on the Sticks Outfitter. <laughs> we'll see you next time on the Sticks Outfit. All right, yeah, let's do that. That's more like it. Where are the Chevys? Where are the Chevys? Here we go. Thanks for watching. Okay. Let me speak. Okay. And you can do it in fashion. These antler lamps, they, uh, they, they're, uh, they're uh, pretty easy to make. Any idiot with a couple of sheds <laughs> like me. Let me know if you want me to do something funny too. I can be funny. <laughs>